Thank you very much, JCF. Put your hands together one more time for the JCF family. And uh, I want to give away something else. So the first schooler who came this morning, you are part of the band, the Pender Call School Band. You were the first person here. I want you to come and get it here. Be fair. The first person from the school band who came. Come on, put your hands together and encourage them. Mr. Man, come on now. You're getting a bag and two pennies. <laughs> come on, encourage her. I was told that Mr. Searchwell was here earlier as well. Where's Mr. Searchwell? I want you to come, I want you to go and play some dominoes. I'm going to give you a pack of dominoes. Come on. <laughs> come on, it's a straight way. I'm going to make a return and see you. You said I'm going to play some dominoes. And also, for our two MPs who have um, you know, made, gave their greetings. We want to give them a bag. We want to give you non-alcoholic wine. We don't want to get drunk on the job. So put your hands together for Dr. Angela Dunbar. And also, for Mr. Elton. Come on, put your hands together. And this time, we're going to take some more greetings. The representative for Dr. Nigel Clark, she's not here as yet, but we have with us our Custos. Custos Rotolorum, Mr. Ian Ford, CD, JP, is going to come, followed by Mr. Salmon, representing the most honorable Prime Minister. Put your hands together and make our Custos. Chairman Pastor Patrick Jordan, Dr. Angela Brownberg, Member of Parliament, Mr. Anthony Hilton, Member of Parliament, Senior Superintendent Ricketts, Deputy Superintendent. College Minto, Councillor Brendan Salmon, Councillor Caretaker and Liaison Officer St. Andrew, Western representing Prime Minister, Most Honorable Andrew Holmes, Spurgeon Thomas, Chairman of the Irish Consultative Committee, members of the the Naval Constabulary Force, our Taekwondo representatives, members of the JCF Band, Justices of the Peace, presenters, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is indeed a pleasure to bring you greetings today on behalf of the Parish of St. Andrew. As Custos wrote alone for the Parish, I welcome the opportunity connect with people from diverse areas within its borders. The significant role of the district consultative committees must be underscored as it has its tentacles in the community and its ear to the ground. You would have heard Slummer just enumerating some of the activities in which these committees are involved. 
So it is against that background that I commend Pastor Jordan and his team for planning and delivering this very important and informative forum. St. Andrew South District. St. Andrew South District Conservative Committee Conference. One of the themes bridging the gap between the citizens and the police. I particularly welcome this forum as it will, among other things, serve to sensitize the public about the many areas in which justice of the peace operates. For example, restorative justice, child diversion, dispute resolution, just to name a few. And in examining the agenda, I was pleased to see other areas to be covered include CPR demonstration, entrepreneurship, backyard farming, a taekwondo demonstration, and others. These are all relevant and practical activities which will help to facilitate the growth and development of our people, and by extension, our communities. The partnerships forged with the communities and the constabulary are needed now more than ever as we strive to fight the scourge of crime in our society and enable our people, young and old, to realize their full potential and facilitate the growth and development of our beloved country. It also speaks to the fact that volunteerism and service is alive and well in Jamaica. In closing, I'd again like to thank the St. Andrew South District Consultative Committee and its key stakeholders, the community and the constabulary, for helping to transform lives and uplifting our community, our communities and people. Ladies and gentlemen, and thank you all. Mr. Master of Sermon, distinguished guests at the head table, JPs, the police band, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good morning to you all. For me, it's a pleasure when I was asked by my Member of Parliament and Prime Minister of Jamaica, the Honorable Andrew Holis, to step in his big shoes today. And today I want to take this opportunity in apologizing for his absence. He would have loved to be here with us today, but because of previous engagement, he is unable to meet it. We all know the passion that Andrew Willis have when it comes to national security and justice. Crime and violence is one of the priority in his government. And he's working assiduously to plug those loopholes that make crime and violence so high in Jamaica. But it's a thing that crime and violence is not just a government thing, opposition thing. Crime and violence is every one of us have to play our part and some time ago mr holis make a promise 